Tonight's guest is the guy your favorite celebrities go to when they need some wisdom, including yours truly. I just want to call myself a celebrity. You see that? That's what's up. You may know him from his award-winning podcast, On Purpose. Please welcome my dear friend, Jay Shetty. Woo! Lily! Hello! Aww. Welcome, welcome! Thank you for having me. I, thank you for being here. Come on in to my fake crib. <laughs> I love gonna, it. It looks beautiful. I know. What we're going to do is we're going to go in between all these okay. lights like they're not here, just like this. And we're going to sit. <laughs> So, so cool. Sure. I love it. I um, love so it. I love having my friends on the show because we obviously hang out a lot. Yes. I know you very, very well. Yes. But I've learned that when I'm here on the couch, we get into conversations that we might otherwise not have. Yes. So I want to like get to know you in a way I've never got to know you. Okay. Question one. Why is it that I always beat you in Catan? I'm kidding. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Okay, I'm trying. I'm trying. I'm trying. I'm trying. Because you taught me Catan. So it means that your coaching was fairly poor, oh. and therefore you have not created a strong opponent, oh. hence you always destroy your opponent. You actually won the last game. I'll yeah. say it. I'll say it. You won. <laughs> you won um, like seven before that. You know, growing up, obviously, brown dude, brown girl, parents <laughs> have certain expectations of what they want us to do. You went a very different trajectory. Mm -hmm. Not the doctor, not the lawyer, still found success. How did you get to that place? I think, you know what it was? It was... Yeah, I grew up in a family where you could be a doctor, a lawyer, or a failure. Right. And we all chose the third option. Yes. <laughs> and I feel like society creates these like ceilings in each and every area of life. And for me, it was actually when I was 14 and my math teacher in school looked me in the eye. I was struggling with a question. Mm -hmm. And he said to me, Jay, do you know why you're struggling with that question? Mm -hmm. And in my head, I'm thinking, because I'm terrible at math. <laughs> yeah. And he goes, no, the reason you're struggling with that question is because instead of thinking about the question, you're worried about your parents' opinion. And you're thinking <laughs> about your parents' opinion. What a therapy session at 14, what the From heck? a math teacher, Mr. Kinsley, I will never forget Shout you. out, shout out, you terrified Jay, <laughs> look at him now. And it was such a moment, like, it sounds like such a trivial thing, but yeah. it was so true. He was literally looking me in the eyes and saying, Jay, you care more about your parents' opinion than you do about dealing with the question. And so since 14, I started to follow my intuition. And I think because I started doing that when I was 14, that voice has got stronger and stronger and stronger. Yeah. But for those of us who've been ignoring that voice since we were 14, it's got weaker and weaker and weaker. So we've got to give it space to get strong oh. again and give it a moment to So evolve. at 14, you had a voice inside of you. Because yes. I'm trying to think of the voice inside my mind at 14, and I think it was Sailor Moon. <laughs> so like I'm like trying to like really understand here. So you believe everyone has that voice inside of you? Yes, 100%. Huh. That's incredible. Yeah. Let me ask you this. I'm sure it is a common misconception that people, you know, are very familiar with you online and they and they listen to your podcast and they read your book and like, Jay is probably so full of joy. They probably feel that way about you. Jay is full of joy. Jay full of joy. Wow. <laughs> Put that on t-shirt. But they probably think you're very happy and positive, which, which you are, but you're human still, right? So 100%. How do you stay so positive? Would you call yourself a positive person? I would call myself a... Oh, that's it. I would call myself a realistic person with an optimistic flair. Okay. So I consider myself to be someone who's realistic, thoughtful. I like weighing up the options. Mm -hmm. I like being logical. Yeah. But overall, I will always try and choose to see the good in someone or a situation. Okay. But that's been practiced and developed. So there are plenty of days where I wake up and I am in a mood. Mm. What I've realized is that even on the days I don't feel like doing my morning routine, it's on those days that I have to do it even more. Right. So I go back to the same set of activities, which I don't want to do that day mm -hmm. because I'm stressed, overworked, no energy. Mm -hmm. But I've realized that healthy things, they feel good after and right. unhealthy things feel good before. Brig, you're so right? right. If you think about that for a second, like anything that's healthy for you, like going to work out, before you go to work out, I never want to work out. Never. But when I finish working out, I always feel phenomenal. Olympian, I feel great. I'm an Olympian. Exactly. Yeah. There you go. And and the same with food. If I'm about to eat a healthy meal, I want the burger and the fries. Right. But once I eat the healthy meal, the feeling after. So I've realized to disconnect from the feeling before an activity wow. and focus and reconnect to the feeling after an activity. Wow. Okay, let's dive into your podcast. I've had the privilege of being on your podcast. I was like the least famous person on your podcast no, ever. You were one of I, my... It's an embarrassment that I'm on your podcast. I, I don't even know why you asked me. No, that's right. I actually <laughs> want to say this. I was just getting... We were just getting to know each other when yeah. I launched the podcast two yeah. years ago. You were one of my first three guests. 
and you kindly agreed to be on the podcast yeah. when it was brand new. Yeah. We had no listeners. Right. And you're we like, had... and since then we've raised the bar a lot <laughs> for the guests we have. On no, we need to have you back on. <laughs> Who are some of the people that have been on your, like, amazing, incredible we've, people? We've been so lucky. We've flex had, right now, flex. We've, Give me we've had everyone from Alicia Keys. Okay. Uh, to Dennis Rodman. Lily Swing. Uh, Jennifer Lopez came on this year. Jennifer Lopez. Uh, Just 18 abs. Will Smith. <laughs> 18 abs. <laughs> and then like phenomenal thinkers like yeah. Adam Grant and yeah. Dr. Daniel Amen yeah. and scientists that have, you know, had these massive discoveries. So we have this beautiful balance between science, uh, celebrities, thinkers, thought leaders, spiritualists. It's yeah. insane. So you've had really, for, let's talk about the podcast for a second. How would you summarize it? What are you, what are you talking about with, with these people? So the podcast is called On Purpose. Yeah. I believe that purpose is the most interesting, fascinating pursuit of anyone's life. Mm -hmm. And I think that the people that we look to beyond their success and beyond their growth and fame and wealth, mm -hmm. I'm fascinated by the person. Right. So I try and shift away from their identity of what they do, mm -hmm. and I try and focus on who they are. And so we try and get to the purpose of their being. Hey, thanks so much for watching this clip. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you subscribe to this channel for more just like it. If you don't, none of us can leave set.